Bali, Indonesia. Kuta. So this hotel is just $23 a night. And now I'm going to uh, north of the island to explore northwest of the island. It's not super popular as compared to other places. I just rented a driver with a car for six hundred thousand rupiah a day and we go up north there now let's go Waterfall, the most remote location from south uh, in, in Bali. So it took us three and a half hours to get from Kuta to this waterfall. It's not very popular location. Even my uh, driver, who is around 50 years old, he never been here. He is local. Entrance ticket is 20,000 rupiah, and they initially asked. You want some trekking, up to two hours trekking with guide, which costs 150,000 rupiah. And you can see all the waterfalls like a bit inside of the jungle area. I said, no, I just want to enter to see Ailing Aling, walk a bit around, see myself. There's also cliff jumping and swimming, which also includes in a tour guide uh, price. I just want to see. So 20,000 rupiah. Is enough. This one is small one, not Aling Aling. Aling Aling is 35 meters tall. It's like a twin waterfall. Two of them. And this is just a small one, small brother. Wow, impressive. This is cliff jumping, I guess. Look at this. This one goes and makes another two waterfalls. But which means Alingaling is up there. Okay, I go back to the path and turn right now. It gets darker and darker. Is it the correct way? And no people. As you notice, I barely see tourists here. I saw just few people only. It's very remote location as well. So again, go to the left and to the right. Which way? I have no idea. Oh, but there is a. Uh huh. Yes. Correct. Aling Kaling. This way. Another waterfall. Three and a half hours of driving. Wow, it's messy. Aling Kaling waterfall. 35 meters tall. 35. And this is the end of the road, basically. So if you go to other waterfalls, popular near Ubud, uh, you will see crowds, army of tourists. But here, I'm all alone. Very few tourists uh, go here. Look how steep it is. You 
can also walk with this water, but too slippery. And there is some cave. Oops, it's raining. I go back. Yeah, this road leads to top of the waterfall. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, no. It's not a viewpoint. Cannot see much. There's more. There's another perspective over here. And then you go up there and all the way uh, above the waterfall. But I think I will turn turn back is it hotel it looks like a hotel I will turn back because it starts raining and there's another waterfall called Git Git very near going there to explore that one ah uh, don't go don't turn around there it's just 50 meters away there is a blue lagoon I just found it out now don't turn around there, just uh, go another 50, 100 meters, you will reach just a paradise place. Just don't turn around, yeah. Look at this. What I missed. Okay, I'm out of jungle. It's a bit sweaty hike, even though it's just 15 minutes. Of course, drizzling, humid, 29 degrees. Yeah. Raining already, almost reached. Raining? Yeah, Raining. amazing waterfall, <laughs> and no tourists, just so few people only. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. To the right, yeah. Eh? yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Git Git waterfall, very near to Ling Ling. So Git Git is another waterfall in this area, just south from Ling Ling. And there's also another waterfall, much taller than Ling Ling, is Sikum Pool. It's taller, but it's quite further away, so I need to choose what to visit within a day. I chosen to visit Ling Ling and uh, go to the lakes. i show later the lakes. The road. Hmm. Looking for Git Git. I cannot even hear it. You just follow the tourist flow and you can locate anything. But here are just no cars at parking lot, no people so far. Oh, I can hear waterfall now from this spot. It's somewhere there. Hello, Git Git Waterfall ticket. Hello. Hi, Git Git Waterfall, right? Yeah. How much is this? 20. 20? Yeah. Okay. This waterfall is already uh, at 600 meters above sea level. It's twice as higher than Alinga Ling. And it's a bit cooler here. Also because of the rain. So 26 degrees. Very chill. Oh, found it! Get get waterfall. Here we go. But what's there? Let's explore. Hi, get get waterfall. Yeah. Two hundred fifty meters. Yeah. Oh, there's a restaurant on the right. Oh yeah, not a short walk. Okay. Shops, shops, shops. But no tourists. Handcrafted stuff. Vietnamese hat. Oh, look at the view. I see brown waterfall over there. It's like a Milo uh, falling down. Wow. 
interesting. Is it Git Git actually? Looks funny. Which makes it even more interesting to see such color waterfall. I don't think it's always like this color. It's because it's raining. Um, it was heavily rain while we go here. Yeah, all the rivers are this color. Yeah, it is Milo color. Seriously. Look at this color. Wow. Wow. Oh. Right in my eyes there's uh, some uh, sand. There's a mud. This is a cloud of mud. All my umbrella is dirty and my eyes are full of sand. So I would recommend to come here during the heavy rain. But to see chocolate color uh, waterfall uh, worth it for sure. I try I still try to approach a bit. I fell down. Very slippery here. Uh, I fell down. Very dirty. I go back. It's very dirty. And I took uh, pictures already. Git Git waterfall. And also I scratch my uh, camera uh, front glass a bit. Yeah, everything is dirty. Okay. Last time. Hi from Buyan Lake. This is a huge caldera of ancient volcano. I measured on Google Maps, it's roughly 10 kilometers in diameter. And inside got three lakes. This Buyan, uh, then Bratan, behind where we'll have lunch. And behind there is a tumbling gun. Three lakes inside this massive caldera. So, tumbling gun lake behind. There was an ancient civilization lived in year 900 just 1300 oh no 1100 years ago but they migrated later there is still one village and some ancient temples uh, on the southern side of Temblingan lake and these those lakes they change the level uh, depending on uh, rain and amount of rain and later we will go to Bratan lake to have lunch with a nice view Wow, it's very chilly weather because elevation here is 1.200 kilometers and weather 21 degrees at night it goes down to 18 and it's drizzling hope I won't get sick Oof. So basically we are inside volcano, inside caldera, but this volcano is dead already, long long time ago. So there is a road going along the rim and over here there is a perfect spot for both lakes. But we go to Bratan lake so we turned over here. And now it's almost summer in southern hemisphere, so it's still okay weather, but during winter months, like June, July, August, weather drops a few degrees uh, more, so bring jacket. Just bump into this gate, a very famous one, okay. 
and there is a long queue for photo. I saw this one on the internet, but we just accidentally bumped into it. I didn't know it's right here, at this area. Very famous photo spot. No need to queue. Lunch place just beside the third Bratan Lake in this caldera. So it's a buffet lunch. Eat whatever you want for 180,000 rupees. Drinks, salads, everything with the Bratan Lake view. Outside was very cold, so I would sit here with a view, but. I better sit inside and drink hot coffee. Okay, food was good, local one. And let's see the temple. There's temple uh, beside the lake. Let's see the temple and lake view of Lake Bratan. Altitude is the same, 1.2 kilometers because it's a plateau, caldera. And on this plateau, the lakes. Okay, this is the temple. Bratan Lake Temple. 75,000 rupiah for entry and they give bottle of water. This temple is built in 17th century, 1633. And this is place of worship uh, for water because this lake supplies an entire region with this fresh water. Well, some people, I saw people wearing jacket because 21 degrees is not 30 degrees uh, on the south of Ireland. Oh, this is the stupa I mentioned, Buddhist stupa, place of worship. And this is the temple itself. Let's go inside and see lake. Seventeenth century. I wonder whether this island also from seventeenth century. Seems so. There's quite a lot to see. <laughs> There's still something. Some garden. People praying on this mural because this water supplies the whole region. It gives rivers and supplies the villages. So it's a very important place for locals. And of course, temple. This is the stupa, Buddhist stupa place of worship I'm just coming from behind main entrance yeah how old it is preserved almost 400 years so here I see much much more tourists because it's closer to rather than Ling Ling waterfall but still majority of tourists are from Indonesia driver says they're coming from Jakarta, Surabaya uh, Java mostly, Java Island okay going south where it's warm because 21 degrees <laughs> a bit not comfortable <laughs> Tanalot yeah. temple, remember? We also go to yeah. Tanalot on the way back. Yeah. To catch sunset, maybe, right? Yeah, sunset there. Yeah. Okay, the view from the rim of this volcano, where which caldera has those lakes. And now you can see it gets lower and lower to the warmer weather. Oh, oh this is strawberries. And this is famous ghost hotel, very Instagramable 
place also. It's abandoned, uh, so built in the 90s, and it's full of ghosts and scary stories. But actually, as I understand, it's just abandoned because no investments made in this hotel. So I don't know if I can go inside, but I saw pictures on the internet. It's quite uh, creepy and abandoned and definitely has a, one of the best views in Bali. So went bankrupt, right? Yeah, no investments. Big costs. Okay. Chocolate factory. Smell is very strong. Yeah. Chocolate smell. <laughs> Smells so good yeah. from out there. It's called pot. Chocolate. You make it here, right? Yes. It's our oh. factory here and at the shop there. Oh. And we have a tester too. Oh. You, you, before you buy, you can test all. Oh, okay, okay. And you can choose one. Uh, okay. You so you do chocolate here, right? Yes, yes. yes. Wow. Oh. Yes. And you grow chocolate also here? Oh, no. Yes, yes. This is a place where we get the beer. Ah, north. Yes. Oh, east, west, north, west, north west. west of Bali, right? Yes, west of Bali. Oh, okay. A lot of cocoa plantation there. Okay. We join with the local farmer, uh -huh. so we get uh, the bean from them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they grew chocolate here in Bali in the northeast side, just behind those crater lakes. I just went to. You can actually try the chocolate, any they any flavor they have. So I tried every single one and I like the orange one the best. So I took orange one 59,000 rupiah. This cute bag. It's a good gift to bring from Bali. So I bring this one. Okay, I got orange one. I got yeah. yeah. It was 12 hours 30 minutes of uh, day trip. Traffic is heavy from uh, Tanalot. He charged me 800,000 rupiah for a day uh, tour, not 600, because too far. But he highlighted this initially. I said, yeah, sure, 800, okay. And that's it. Come to Bali, explore more by 